Hello everyone, welcome to Amortize Analysis in 5 Minutes. My name is Alex Lin, and today we'll be talking about Amortize Analysis in hopefully a more fun and engaging manner. Um, so, but before we start, let's meet our protagonist, Mr. Eliano. Now, Eliano is this typical CMU student who is tired from all of his 122 homework. However, he is determined to get that A in the class, so he decides to go to his best friend, Coffee, for help. To get coffee, Eliano goes to this nice little coffee shop called La Prima, located at Wienha. Oh, I almost forgot something. Wear your mask, Eliano. Be safe, safe. All right, upon arriving at La Prima, um, Eliano realizes that La Prima is actually going through this new green movement, where instead of providing free plastic cups for the students, La Prima decides to sell these very good mugs at a price of $5 a piece. However, these very good mugs are actually not so good. They are actually very poor in quality and will break after exactly five uses. Exactly five. So after drinking five cups of coffee, the student will have to pay for another mug. La Prima, however, thinks this is very good for business, so they decide, whatever, I'm just going to use this. To promote their new policy, La Prima decides to give all of the free students, uh, all of the new students, a free mug. So there's uh, Eliano's free mug. Eliano is very happy with this deal. Um, free stuff, why not? Um, so he buys his coffee and leaves. However, this actually got Eliano thinking. Uh, what is my actual cost for drinking coffee? Is it $1 for just buying the coffee? Or is it $6 for getting both the coffee and the mug? Fortunately, Eliano is a CS student, so he decides to use what he has learned in 122 to help. Come with me, Eliano. All right. Um, Eliano draws out this schedule where um, he lists out the expected money that he's going to have to pay every day. On day one, um, Eliano pays $1. That's just getting the coffee. On day two, three, four, five, all the same. However, on day six, he realizes that his mug would have been broken by now, and he needs to pay for a new mug, which costs him a total of $5 and an extra dollar for drinking coffee. So that's $6. Um, on seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and it's the same thing. And on day 11, another new mug, another $6. So Eliano first tries to apply the worst case analysis, what he's learned from 122. The worst case analysis tells him to look at the worst case, $6, and simply say that, oh, drinking coffee costs me $6. Hmm, this doesn't seem right. This is way too expensive, unless you drink from Starbucks. Um, Eliano notices that most of the times he just spends $1, so he's going to be wasting a lot of money if he spends $6 brings six dollars to school every time. Um, so he decides to adopt a better plan, amortized analysis. So what is amortized analysis? What amortized analysis basically is trying to do is to spread down the cost of this expensive day into the cheaper days. I'll demonstrate by an example. Leonardo devises a plan where he only brings two dollars every day. And every day he spends one dollar on the coffee and he saves one dollar in his back pocket. He does the same thing the next day. He spends $1 and saves $1. And by the time that he has gotten to day six, he would have already saved $5 in his back pocket. So on day six, he only needs to bring in $2. He spends $1 for the coffee, spends the $5 in his back pocket for the mug, and saves another dollar to be used on the mug at day 11. And this is amortized analysis, where the cost of this expensive mug buying is actually spread down. And by using amortized analysis, Leonardo knows that drinking coffee actually costs him $2 every day, which is a much more accurate um, uh, estimation and, of course, better for his wallet. All right, so when is amortized analysis useful? Amortized analysis usually rises when an operation has both an expensive case and a cheap case. For drinking coffee, the expensive case is uh, buying a new cup and drinking coffee. That's $6 in total. The cheap case is filling a cup with coffee, which is $1. And the amortized analysis tells us that the total, total cost will be, um, the total average cost is going to be $2 every time I drink coffee. For computer science, um, some algorithms like UBA add also has a cheap, cheap case where I fill in an empty array block. That's O of 1. An expensive case, when the array is full, I need to copy everything over to resize. That's O of N. Um, by worst case, I'd be looking at O of N, but this is way too pessimistic because that doesn't happen that often. So by using amortized analysis, 
a more accurate representation is actually O of 1. You may add is actually O of 1. Some last tips before we go. First, don't be scared by the wording. We're usually just looking for the average cost. Amortized analysis is not some fancy, scary monster. It's something that you should be used to um, in your elementary school maths. Um, and then find the cheap and expensive operation before you start to an analyze. That will give you a starting ground for figuring out what you are trying to analyze. Third, identify the circle. What I mean by this is be like Eliano. Write down the number of cheap operations you need to do, the expensive operation you need to do, and find a pattern or a cycle that you can operate on. Last of all, remember that a cycle always starts poor. You want to choose a cycle to analyze where you assume that you start poor after just finishing an expensive operation. By this time, you should have zero dollar in your pocket, and that's where you start analyzing new. Thank you. That's all for um, amortized analysis. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have all learned something.